Hey fellas, Dan Broco, some Lead Faucet Tactical out here filming another episode of Recoil Training Tune-Ups and Tips. Today we're going to talk about the three types of reloads with our carbine. We have bolt lock reload. You come and you got to recognize that distinctive ping, get a fresh mag in there, slam it forward, and get back in the fight. Second, we got a speed reload. Sometimes you don't have to retain your magazine. Hey, I could be in a house, a single structure, I got some rounds going down range. Not sure how many I have left, get rid of that magazine, put a new one in there. And my third type is my reload with retention or attack reload. Hey, I got a little break in action, I'm behind a piece of cover. I need to retain my magazine, I might not be at the target building, I'm moving in the streets or something like that. I gotta be able to do a good attack reload or reload with retention, stow that mag, get that carving back up, and move on and get in the fight. So those are the three types of reloads we're gonna talk about today. All right, hey fellas, our first type of reload is gonna be a bolt lock reload. When we fire our last round in our carbine, there's a distinctive ping, and that last round, there's a little bit of felt lighter recoil when that bolt locks to the rear. When we hear that, my support hand is coming down, and at the same time, I'm coming off my trigger finger, releasing the magazine. I run bolts to the rear, I grate my pinky underneath, insert my magazine, hit my bolt release and get your hand back out here in a good firing position. Common mistake is grabbing it right here. Another thing you noticed is keep this weapon in your workspace, fellas. When I did this reload, it was up here. If it's been a while since you've been to the gym and you can't hold it up, tuck it underneath the armpit, do your reload. That way, I'm automatically, my eyes are looking at my threat or my threat environment at all times. I don't wanna be doing a reload down here at all. And you also may ask is, hey, when I reach bolt lock, there's no need to put this weapon on safe, fellas. I know it's the last round. Keep it on fire, drive it in here, hit the bolt release. If I don't have a target to re-engage, then the weapon goes on safe. All right, fellas, our second type of reload with the carbine is our speed reload. A lot of people say, hey, never let your magazine hit the ground. Well, if I go into this breach point and I'm not leaving that house and I put a certain amount of rounds down, I'm gonna drop my magazine, get a fresh one in there. Nobody knows how many rounds they fire under stress, but if you're in doubt, put a new one in. Biggest difference between this and bolt lock is one, we're not reaching bolt lock, but when you get a little break in action and hit that speed reload, make sure we're going on safe in between our reloads. And if I have an engagement, I can go right back on fire, but if I don't have an engagement, I'm on safe. All right, fellas, our third type of reload is attack reload. Um, reload with retention, magazine exchange, whatever you want to call it. Once again, we're firing behind cover. Again, workspace. This comes down, pinky underneath the bottom of the magazine. I come up here, grab nice and high on this magazine. My ring finger stays in between the two as a buffer. I simply remove, exchange, stow this. If you grab too low, right in here, this magazine over here, I have to retain it with these two fingers and pull it on in. So grab nice and high on that magazine already in the weapon. Hey fellas, we just covered the three types of reloads with a carbine. Nothing wrong with working off your battle belt. We used to call it the happy mag. Um, that was always our non-retained. It does have some retention going on there, but make sure we're working all these reloads off our chest, our plate carrier, and our armor just as well as our battle belt. It's equally as important because after this magazine, they're coming off your chest, fellas. So make sure you work both battle belt and your kit on doing those three types of reloads. 
See you next time.